up, y'all? Welcome back to the Top Fly Pod. You know what it is. You know what we're here to do. Back in studio today, beautiful Austin, Texas. I'm with the boys. We got B. We got Bali here next to me. Primo's not here. Missing him tonight. It is what it is. My G had a couple things that he had to do. He had to take care of some stuff. Yeah. Big boy things, right? Yeah. We're here in celebration, though. We're happy to say Austin FC2 is the champion of the MLS Next Pro League. Not only did they win the Western Conference, they now won the biggest trophy that they could win this season, and we're so happy for those guys. I'm starting off with you, B. How are you doing today, mate? Man, I'm happy. I'm, I'm glad. I'm proud of the boys. Austin FC2. Proud. The, the dub. Watching their, their playoff run, you know, being on the road, just happy, bro. Happy. All out happy. I'm glad for them. Um, and Damian lost, bro. <laughs> I mean. Special. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Special. But man, Special. What a, yeah, what a day. Bali, how are you doing today, mate? I'm very, very happy, man. I mean, we just we just saw Austin FC2, you know, become champions. You know, what a performance. Uh, Road Warriors, you know, they, man, you know, give it up to them. And a lot of those players, you know, I want to see them in the first team. Champions of Next Pro. You'll never sing that. <laughs> Champion? No? Is that no? No, no. All right, my so, fault. Man. My fault. So. My fault. Shout out to them, though. <laughs> We're going to have a whole segment right now. We're going to get into them. But first, I do want to send a shout out to the Patreon members. We just launched our Patreon. Uh, thank you very much for joining. Those of you that have already, if you haven't yet, this is your first time hearing about it. We just launched our Patreon. Uh, along with that Patreon, uh, you get a Discord. Uh, at, you get Discord access in there. You can join the chat about the Premier League, La Liga, Austin FC, Austin FC 2. We were just talking right now while, while the game was going on. It was a very good engaging conversation we got the transfer rumor chat in there that i think i think late as of late or so far it's been the most popular channel yep. uh there was conversations today of a, of a certain player that was flirting with austin a couple months ago people were giving their takes if they liked him or not uh it's an aging striker so fits fits for austin fc uh, <laughs> but but b you want to add anything on the whole uh patreon that we just oh launched. yeah i mean um we've been kind of trying to launch this for a little while a little now. while yeah and uh, it feels good to finally launch and you know we like like i said we appreciate everybody that joined i think the discord is going to probably be the best like i mean get in that discord because i think we're starting it now but i think it has potential to grow to be something really amazing to, to be a part of in the, uh, com the coming year there are some more things that we're going to add on yeah. to, the, to the discord sure. as as uh, you know time goes on but i do want to send a shout out to everybody that has uh, signed up and now now that we launched the patreon and we have you know the discord uh, before every episode i want to send a shout out to everybody that has signed up so if you hear your name shout out to you uh, thank you for being uh, one of the $5 members of the Wrestling TV Patreon. We got Alvaro, the first member ever. Uh, Danny Bands. <laughs> we have Hooks, Adriana, Adrian Jaimes, Digitalis, Elise, Brad Schober, Robert Miller, Rachel Hogan, Dylan Biles, Matt Magby, Michael Ponce, which is King Koopa, Leanne Stuver, <laughs> Daniel Rivas, my G, Vanilla Mexican, the Vanilla Mexican is in our Discord. <laughs> Harry Austin, Jose Cancel Ortiz, Chupes 87, Juan Samarron, Zach Bird, Jose Ducos, Shane, Peter Onyisi, Alan Truitt, Dave Smith, Lucas Stevens, Phil Morris, Dan Godwin, and Greg Hotchkiss. Shout out to those people so yeah. far. Uh, yeah, to all, we're going to be giving shout outs to all of our Patreon members before every episode, reading them off like that. So thank you, everybody, for uh, being uh, signed up. Uh, Bali, anything you want to add on to that, brother? Oh, man, shout out to y'all, man. I can't wait to. To keep chatting up on the Discord. Yeah, it's I mean, things far. are I mean, slow now yeah, because I mean, the season just ended, but yeah. wait till... No, when, you know, when, when the season starts, you know, it's going to pick up. And yeah. I mean, any, I mean tra also any transfer window... Is, you know, that, that that's I, what I was about to say. I'm telling you right now, any transfer window, that any transfer rumor that I find out or anything that I know, it's going on Discord. And I'm going to say it on Discord and now, first. It, if, if anybody knows where else in TV or if you paid attention to us the last three years, you know that ain't no such thing as off-season. In the transfer no. window is when some of our strengths come alive that we're not flexing or we're not exercising during the regular season. Right now, birdies on go. <laughs> birdies <laughs> on go. R the spider, the spider, the birds. R Rodo has scouts in Europe and in South America. Cool. That's cool, bro. Mm -hmm. We got birdies there too. <laughs> <laughs> so that, what that, you want to do? That's facts. What I mean, wh wh what do you want to do? So. All right, boys. Uh, anything else? We got to shout out the website. Also, subscribe to the podcast on all platforms. Check us out there on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Tell a friend. Yeah. Now, uh, we're going to get right into the FCTO immediate FCTO reaction. The game just ended. We were watching it here in the Top Flight Podcast Studios. Uh, it was absolutely a banger of a match. The last 
maybe 30 minutes of the game, it was very interesting. Austin FC was down 1-0. They made the comeback. They came. I mean, they got a soft pen called against them. Maybe they got a soft pen called for them. B was saying that he was not convinced that it was a PK, that it was a flop. Didn't matter. <laughs> Ramirez stepped up, took the penalty superbly, like an absolutely world-class player. You don't see penalties like that all the time, bro. And he's been taking penalties like that consistently. So I want to give him his flowers on the penalty um, taker, penalty technique, I guess you could say. The second goal came from Valentino. Well, we celebrated that goal here in the studio like it was yeah, it was the damn, one. it was like it was a the World one. Cup or something. It was a beautiful goal. <laughs> Started off with David Rodriguez, laid it off to CJ. CJ found Noel, and Noel banged it into the back of the net. Like B said, absolute golazo. The third goal... You say we said it, it was it was an, an own goal. Credit it was an own goal. That's what it was given as. But we were talking earlier, B. CJ, bro. If it would have gone by, if if that bottle, if the Colorado, sorry, if the Columbus player would have let the ball go by, Pino would have been their back post to finish it off three yeah. one. And shout out CJ for that cross. I mean, shout putting out the CJ. ball in the dangerous area, bro. The I difference mean, maker. Yeah. The yeah. difference yeah. maker. CJ comes on for Cristo Vela. Maybe he didn't have the best game Vela, but CJ Fadri comes on. Shout out to Brett Utley for knowing the players that he has, knowing the impacts they can make. Uh, so I want to start off with you, B. Your overall thoughts on the match. Fcito defeats Columbus, the reigning champs, yeah, at the their house. Champ. Uh, the yeah. history between Austin and Columbus too. Everything was going into this. Your thoughts? Oh man, I mean. The, so happy, like I said in the beginning of the show. But I mean, just the performance that stands out for me was Damien's lo- Damien Laws, bro, during the game. I mean, the first half, those saves, bro. Uh, on the penalties, the, the the Columbus penalty was awfully soft. I mean, it was soft. I mean, you know, I know it was against Austin, but uh, and there Austin, there was conversations. Maybe Chikdure was the one that got stepped on. Yeah, it looked like he was just trying to get his foot away. Yep. But, hey, look, at the end of the day, the penalty is called, and then we get one back. So it kind of evens out, bro, in, in, in my opinion. But the Golazo from Noel, oh, man, I'm, I'm just so happy that this is – the way I see this, bro, is like this season was – the first team season was just atrocious, right? It's just the most for, uh, forgettable season that we could have. But having this uh, ending to it, I think it'll make it a memorable season from now, bro. I mean – I'm going to remember this. This is, this is 100%, great. Yeah. 100%. Now, Bali, uh, B is saying that this is a very memorable thing for him. He's going <laughs> to remember this for <laughs> time to come. I want to ask you the question. What was a bigger moment for you this season? The MLS Next Pro Championship or Austin FC clinching a back-to-back Copa Tejas? <laughs> hey, guys. Let's take a quick break to talk to you about our newest sponsor, Backly. We are thrilled to introduce our esteemed sponsor, Packley, the creator of artesian super snacks that combine flavor, nutrition, and joy. Packley, which means joy in the language of the Aztecs, brings the essence of joy to every bite. These snacks are handmade using the best organic ingredients available. Packley starts with a mix of puffed ancient grains, essential amino acids, fiber, and vitamins, dried fruits, and a delicious range of chocolates, creating a unique eating experience that delights your taste buds. To share the joy of Pakli with all of you, we have an exclusive offer. When you visit their website at paklifoods.com and use discount code WAATV at checkout, you'll receive a fantastic 10% off discount on your entire purchase. We want to take a moment to express our heartfelt gratitude to all of our listeners. Each purchase you make from Pakli not only brings you delicious snacks, but also supports our show. We are immensely grateful for your support. Thank you once again for supporting our show. More information in the description below. Now, let's get back to the show. <laughs> Man, you know... Um, <laughs> That's a serious question. I'm, I'm, the, I mean, the, the disrespect towards me, you know... Um, I'm, I'm, you know um, it's a serious it, it, it question. Kinda, it, it gives me the vibe that you want me to walk out. You know, you want me to leave. <laughs> no, 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 no. You want me to leave and, and, no, and leave no, no, the show. No. But you, you know? so no, what no, is no. it? It's, it's a serious it question. It's, it's not what a serious question. Highlight? because it's gotta it, be you MLS know, next. You, Come I want on, you bro. to say it. Come on, Is bro. it or not, wait? Of course. Okay, go. elaborate course. on that don't, point. Don't bring up Copa Tejas again, please. Okay, can you you're, elaborate you're, you're on the point? Can like you elaborate on the point? Forever. What was, okay, Look, why was the MLS Next Pro moment bigger I mean, for you like, than Copa Tejas? <laughs> Look, man, I'm I'm happy for the kids. I'm happy for the kids. I want to, you know, I've been seeing them grow. You know, we, I mean, just don't forget, this is their first season, first team. Yep. And, um, you know, watching them grow, watching them play, you know, I'm very, very happy for them. You know, for sure. that's why, uh, I pick it over Copa Tejas. Okay. Now, B, uh, we were talking earlier, definitely a big moment of the season. Is this the highlight of the season? This is the, yeah. the, yeah. the has yeah. to be. peak yeah. moment of it the 2023 season. Yeah, bro. I mean, like, coming years, we'll remember, like, it, as the seasons go by, we'll think back and be like, hey, our third season was just shitty. 
But, but instead, I'll be thinking, hey, remember if Cito won the, the chip that year? And so also, that's what all, I'm gonna be thinking. Also, like. shout out to the U15s for winning the gener- generation Adidas Cup. Yeah. You know, so we're, we're we're getting a lot of success. We're finding success. Our academy, with our, academy. our academies, our academy. A make sure make success. sure you add that our academy. Our academy is finding success. So there you go. But there it's part go. of the organization. Yeah, the of team course. was also built good, man. I mean, yes. shout yeah, out to them were. for building that they team. Were. Yes, uh, Sean Rubio, somebody that had a, a major oh, hand, man. a major bro? role, a major bro? role bro? in building this team. Yes, wow, yes, he man. did have a major role in building this team. We have to be. Very honest, very yeah. frank about things. He's not here anymore. Toronto. He's back where we got him, Toronto. Thank but God. Um, shout out to him because yeah. he he had he had uh, a lot to do with this with this upbringing of this club, and a lot of these boys wouldn't be in the FCTO side if it wasn't for Sean Rubio because he brought them from the from the U 17s to the um, uh, F F FCTO side. So oh, awesome, you know, big ups there. And I'm curious too to see how Austin's gonna. Like, how are they going to continue to approach the seasons? Are they going to, like, a lot of players going to go? Or are they going to try to build it from that and keep doing this? That's know? one of the main talking yeah. points that is going to be touched up on leading yeah. into the future, leading into the next couple of months, because it is important to note that not all of these players in this starting 11 belong to Austin FC. Some of them are here yeah. on loan. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So a lot of them that make up this core, this fantastic group of young kids, we might not see them here in the next couple of months or next season because they're going to go back to their parent club. Are we going to pick them up? That's going to be very interesting. Now, I want to talk some stats real quick. Uh, three goals for Austin FC, uh, five shots on target. Two of them were off target. One of them was blocked. We see the shot map here by Austin FC kind of, you know, doing their thing. The passing network, you see it here with Damian Loss. Very nice passing network here. Only just no connection between uh, Cristo Vela and Pino. Pino maybe with the game that was kind of flojito. But Pino, look at that, kind of spreading it out to the to to the wings. Maybe is that the role that they had him playing? Most likely, that's the that's the wolf ball. Uh, we have here the possession stats: eighty-seven point three for Austin FC, and the attacking half: seventy-four point six. Final third: sixty-eight point one. Crosses: zero. That's weird. Our first team is crossing FC. <laughs> right. Right. No, Austin, Austin crazy. FC two takes shots, bro. They, and they yeah. take them from range. Yeah, they do. yeah. Uh, they we really had do. FC two here controlling forty seven point eight of the possession. As mentioned earlier, they had eight shots, five of them on goal. Uh, five hundred passes, five hundred and ten, eighty seven percent pass accuracy, and three corners for them. Uh, real quick, I want to talk about Valentin Noel, a player that Neff. Uh, Neff uh, hosted the spaces the other day. Y'all heard his uh, voice. But Neff, a guy that has been a big believer of Valentino Well since day one. So I want to give Neff his uh, credit for kind of pointing him out and saying, hey, this guy is going to be the real deal. So, Bali, I want to get your take on Valentino Well, somebody that is maybe in the form of his young life so yeah. far. Would you like to see him in the first team someday? I mean, of course, I, I would love to see him. I mean, at least give, give him give him some minutes. I mean, at least how old is some he? games. We, I don't know. How I got you. I mean, we know that he we did get him get him from the draft, so um, he is very oh, he bro? is young. Yeah, he is young. But um, I would love to see him in the first team and maybe just try him out, maybe a couple games, give him some minutes and and see how he does. He got he got because hit to me, hard in the beginning of the game. To me, he, he performed very very well this season. He's twenty four years old. Twenty four. He's yeah. from France. He's from yeah. He's five. He was 10. rocking that black eye, dude. <laughs> the yeah, whole he was. game, bro. He was. Hey. He battle was. scars, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, you know. Warrior, bro. Yeah. Warrior. Uh, right here, it says, In the 2023 MLS Super Draft presented by Adidas on Wednesday, Austin FC selected Generation Adidas winger. Oh, that's about that's, CJ Fodry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and about uh, yeah, but, Noel. But Noel was also drafted in that same in, draft. In the first round with the 13th overall pick, midfielder Valentino Well in the first round with the 20th over, and then they went to get um, some other guys. Yeah. So, we're no, going mean, to see more of him. With, with us winning the championship, I mean, these players are being looked at. They're being, yeah, uh, uh, you know, pro- uh, like thought about whether moves. You know, they, they feel like they deserve something, you know, another step up. So all this comes into question when you win the title. And I'm just excited to see, you know, where they go. Or if we can, how, th- how Austin will approach this. I mean, you know, why not stay in? Let's go for it again type deal and bring in better talent. We'll see. Um, but yeah. So in that in that draft, we got Walty, which is now part of the Colorado Rapids too. CJ Fadri, well, we got him in that draft, which is now really a first team player, but yeah. he is playing with the FCTO side. He got that chip with them. Salvatore Mazaferro, another really good player. We saw him yeah. speaking post match. We said, "Wow, this kid speaks very elegantly, very professional." Answer what he gave in the uh, post match, maybe little questions that they gave him. And Valentino Noel, a guy that 
has been completely instrumental for this Austin FC side, uh, Austin FC two side, uh, to conquer the West and lift the MLS Next Pro Trophy. So we're gonna see these three guys because Jackson Walty is now gone. I think we're gonna see them in in, in Austin FC two for. Maybe I don't know of years to come because they're gonna have to come up soon, right? Yeah. So we're gonna see them in the system, maybe in the maybe pipeline in the first to team. the first so team. So if not maybe. next year, I mean, <laughs> I'm excited. Again. I mean, I think for sure we'll see CJ on the, in the first team next year. I think that's a lock. I CJ, think that's for sure. Damian Laws, Damian Laws for sure. Valentino Noel, Valentino Noel, Mazafero too. Maybe don't sleep on maybe, Mazafero. Maybe, maybe don't sleep on Mazafero. I think Damian deserves a. F- I think Damian. I think, I think Damian he needs to be. I, need, I, I man, think he I'm, needs to be right I there think, next to Stuber, bro. I think I think Damian needs you know give him when you give him a contract, give him that bonus. Damian needs to come up. That and bonus, be right there next to Stuber. Yep. To, you know. I now, think so too. real quick, gentlemen, yeah. lineup talk on Austin FC too before uh, we go on to some of the next topics on the podcast tonight. In goal, we had Damian Loss. We haven't really talked about him. Let's spend just a couple minutes briefly on MVP, Mr. Damian Loss. MVP. MVP, bro. The MVP of the match went to Valentino. Well, we saw him get that award, but Damian lost. What a performance! Uh, I want to start off with you, B. Uh, you were you were showing him praise the whole match, the yeah. whole season, I really. Mean, so, your thoughts on Damian Loss and why he needs to be in the set in the first team, which he already is, but why does he deserve a chance to you know fight for that starting spot? For Austin because FC. of his performances throughout the season, but he pulled like a Courtois in the Champions League final. Oh, 100 percent. I mean, you can give the MVP in a row. Of course, he scored the goal and it was a, a golazo, but he made one goal. That Laz saved like three, bro. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of Laz, big fan of Laz. I want him to be in the first team, at least be given an opportunity to challenge too. You know what I mean for for his spot. But um, yeah, I mean, like I said, he pulled like a Courtois, yeah. uh, you know, final. So, yeah, I mean, excited for him. FC2 is going to have to look for another goalkeeper, bro. I mean, that's how that's well, how much I want it to go. The up. the thing is about FC2 and goalkeeping and really all this organization is that we're pretty good with goalkeepers. We're already we already promoted Spencer Bersano is probably going to be sent somewhere else because there's a lot of promotion with goalkeepers uh, with the Austin FC 2 and then leading up to Austin FC. So, Bali, I want to get your take on Damien Laas. Obviously, a worldly performance be compared to Courtois in the Champions League final. <laughs> um, what were your thoughts on this no, fantastic I mean, performance? Damien Laas right now, I mean, he, he is him. You know, he is him. You know, he's that guy. And, uh, man, I'm very, very happy for him. And I think we need to give him a long, long-term long contract and put him in that first team. I think him and Stuber competing will yeah. be great for him you know stuber is a great leader you know and i'm pretty sure stuber is gonna you know teach him the ways you know help him out you know and uh i think that damien loss deserves a, a contract and he deserves to stay here for a long time i think he was the mvp of of, of the of the mls next pro that tells bro, you i think to me he was mvp of all of austin this year the whole player of the season dude this year the whole organization of so. austin football club the mvp is damien loss for me bro wow yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have to agree that's with that. how much. That's how shitty of a season we had, bro. I'm trying to think of first players that could compete. Tell me. And I can't me, give bro. you a solid answer. That's my MVP. It can't be Ring because Ring spent a lot of time out of position. Out of position though. It can't be Danny because Danny had a fallout at the end of the season. We see where the, the drama going on. And Stuber, as many as he on. saves, he's had some blunders this season. A hundred percent. Lost, bro. Lost. Lost is my MVP. Of play, season. Player of the season, we'll Damian Lost. We'll, we'll wow. get to the for season sure. We'll get to for the sure. season. And he is part of the first team, so he is, there's, he is. there's no problem. There yeah, shouldn't yeah, be shouldn't any, be any problem. There shouldn't be. Damian Lost, player of the season. You player, heard it here first. Top Flight Podcast. Yeah. Uh, his stats for the regular season of 2023, uh, we see here goals against 21. Uh, games played, 31. Games started, 31. <laughs> wow. Almost 3,000 minutes, about 180 shy. Clean sheets, 15 in the regular season. Wow. Uh, the expected goals against, conceded. or the, the expected goals conceded, 31. So he beat that by 10. Yeah. Right? Oh, insane. Saves, 93. Safe percentage, 81.6. Penalties, penalties face, 2. Penalty kicks safe, 2. I'm sorry. I messed that up. Penalty kicks faced, 8. Penalty kicks safe, 2. I'm getting ahead of myself. Damian Loss getting me all uh, bothered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving forward at the back four, Chick Ture, right back. Some people were saying, hey, this guy maybe needs a call up, maybe deserves some first team action. Maybe. He could be the, one of the first ones that we see come through that PSV pipeline. Yep. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. Bali, you have anything you want to add on Chick Ture? I think so. I mean, I like I like his speed. He's I fast. Think he's very, very, fast very fast. And smart. I think smart with the ball. Very, very smart. And I think that him and maybe him and Nick, you know, could just battle it out, you know, and uh, maybe Nick can uh, help him out in the gym and get him, you know, built Oof. up and strong, just like, just Oof. like him. Oh, maybe, maybe imagine maybe. Chick, Chick Turi with the Nick Lima 
you know, body. Ooh. Nick Lima oh. needs to get him that workout program. Oh, 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 boy. <laughs> boy. Oh, oh, I don't I don't yeah. know. Ugh. And also, Rip. I mean, the, the, he, yeah. he did concede the penalty, but it was so soft. It was soft. Yeah, it, was. It, was it was soft. Was, it was not on him. It, it was, was not on him. It was not. He, he honestly might have gotten stepped on in that yeah. interaction. Uh, it, at the center right position and the captain, Joe Hafferty, Maybe this guy doesn't get enough credit. We don't hear his name as much as some others of this Austin FC two side, but he's been pretty good this season for I them. I mean, the back line has been just you know we only conceded one goal in the playoffs. Yeah, you're right. In post the, match, the, the, post the, match, they came alive. Yeah. But we were talking earlier in the last three games of the regular season, they slipped. Yeah, they did. They, they yeah. slipped. I mean, because of that, because of that slip up towards the end, we ended up being on the road team the whole way. And also, also, sure. you have to remember the game where they were up three nil against Colorado. And they, they they let them come back, and it was three three. Yeah, they lost no, yeah. they lost PKs. That, There's that been game. yeah, but also at the beginning we were the comeback club, bro. Yeah, I mean, we'd always concede one or yeah. two, even sometimes three, and we you always managed. Remember to that, that very first game against Houston? Yeah, that what a game. we went. What to? a game, bro! That was yeah. a great game. What a game. All right, uh, Joe Hafferty, big ups to him. El Capitan lifted that trophy. What a what an what an honor. The only trophy I've gotten to lift so far is Copa Univision. <laughs> Copa Univision, and that was lit. That was lit, bro. I, I was remember like, yeah. when you won it, bro. <laughs> Copa Univision, bro. This guy lived the MLS Next Pro Cup. Yeah. Another level. Mazafero. We talked about him earlier in the draft talk that, that we had with Noel and uh, Cesar Fadri, Jackson Walty. Uh, but B, would you like to see him moving up to the first team someday? Sure. Does yeah. he have that potential? Um, I mean, look, this, the season was great. I want to see uh, at least the one more year of him. I want to see that. I mean, look, the whole. I, I couldn't really point out to you one center back to like above the. I think just the connectivity between the whole back line, our defense was good. So it, it's like not, you know, no one okay. really kind of stood out to me like okay. that. Okay, you know Bali. Bali, who is the best center back FC Cito has? Kip Keller, Mazafero, Joe Hafferty. Oof, that's a. Damn. Who, who, who's their best center back? And you also have Pinkman, but he's not I listed mean, I, there. I think Kip. Yeah, I Kip, think Kip, Kip's, Kip's still better than Kip, him. But Masafero, don't sleep on Masafero though. That's he, what I'm saying. He's very, very That's good. He's very, very. He's but very I think good. to call him up to the first team, I think, mm. I think right now we're right now our back line. We need we need help, and I don't we don't have time to be given a given a, an academy. And also every time. year we're not gonna be picking like three four guys. Yes, I, I mean, want it's go, gonna I be w- maybe one if I want I want a center back two, that's maybe. gonna give me that's a monster. Go buy go get somebody that's a monster. Don't wait for an academy player oh, to develop. Oh, Gavin Gavin Wolf. Gavin Wolf coming up, another Gavin, Wolf son, Gavin center Wolf. back. He's like 15 Come right on, now, left footed. Come on, give him three more years. You're gonna yeah. see him. Yeah. Uh, Salvatore Mazzaferro, great, great player. I hope to see him in yeah. that first team soon. He still has a little bit more development. I think, I think he has so. to put I on a little bit more give weight. Him like two more years. A little bit more get weight on him. A yeah. little bit more weight on him. Uh, Charlie Asensio, a player that came back from loan. He was with Charleston Battery last Charlie. season. Uh, he had like five or six assists over there. Crossing man. Uh, in this post match, in, sorry, in this post in this postseason, he's been a threat on that left side, putting in crosses into the box. Uh, he's been just bombarding, just boom, 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 sending him in there. And not so much this game. We see that there's not many crosses that were put in this game, but uh, previous matches, Charlie Asensio has been a threat on that left side. And as much as I want to see Anthony DeAnda on that left side, I think Asensio in this postseason was pretty good for us. I think FC out of the back line, he stands out to me the most. Bro. Asensio? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. I mean, do you count Laz in that back line? Because, look, Laz is verbal as well, bro. Yeah. I've seen him shout directions to his center backs and, and stuff like that. So, uh-huh. I mean, he has also a... a I like Chick Dure more. Okay. To me, to me Chick Dure. Good Chick shot. Chick Dure. Chick Dure. Good shot for Chick, Chick Dure. Dure. Let's move into the midfield. We have, uh, starting off with Bobo Subiarranga, the greatest Ugandan player of yeah. all time. Plays for our <laughs> Austin FC two side. Uh, he had a. No way. He had he, 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 the thing about him is I don't see him. I don't go to him as like, oh, this guy's gonna score for us. This guy's gonna be an attacking threat. You know, he's not like a Cristovela. He's not like a Rodriguez or a Valentino. Well, but he's an anchor. He's like yeah. a Casemiro. You know, he's yeah, like exactly. You know, he, he's like the guy that's gonna <laughs> clean it up. You know what I'm saying? So Bobosi, fantastic player. I wonder what his plan is because. This kid needs to decide if he's going to go for a first team or he's going to stay for the FCTO side. What's what's going to happen there? I mean, this guy is an international player. You know, this this season wasn't a waste of time because he won the chips, yeah. but I don't know. I mean, some of these players, I think that they need a higher level. Yeah, Bobos sure. is one of those. I think a team would come would come and scoop him up. He's I think good. A first, I think someone in the he's first tall. team will give him. He looks very time. tall, too. I haven't seen him in person, but he looks very tall. Yeah. Uh, Al- Alonso Ramirez. The, the penalty kick taker, the loney from Atlas B. You and I talk about him a lot. What are your thoughts on him, and why does he need to possibly stay, or why do we need to buy him maybe first team soon? I don't know. 
I mean, I think Atlas wouldn't mind bringing him back. He'll be like, oh, we want him back. Unless yeah. Austin can, can, you know, can want him more than Atlas. Because I think he could he could ha- happily go back to Atlas. I think Atlas would accept him because what are the season Atlas couldn't be happier right yeah, now. Yeah, they're like, they yeah, come back. Happier. You know what I mean? Unless, it, But if he wants to stay, if he wants to stay, then Austin needs to come up with something. We, we did with a lot of these players what a lot of fans wanted us to do with Brandon Craig. You know, like kind of give him minutes, develop him, and then say, oh, you know what? We're going to probably keep him or we're not. A lot of fans are upset that Brandon Craig got no minutes, but we'll talk about him here here in a bit. But, you know, just Ramirez, Loney player, Atlas, what's going to happen there? But just like we're saying, B, they got to be so happy with how things played out for him. The experience that he got, he was captain in, in some of those matches. Uh, the penalty kicks that he's been taking. I mean, some of the best ones that I've seen, yeah. young kids taking a while, dude. I mean, insane. And moving forward, Cristo Vela, a kid that we know has talent, but maybe we haven't seen it all this season. Uh, he gets subbed off early in this game for C.J. Fadri. We see the impact that C.J. Fadri b- brought on. I don't question that substitution at all. Brent Utley knew what he was doing. Complete trust in that coach with his players, with the squad, with his team. Uh, so, Bali, I want to start off with you. Cristo Vela, what were your thoughts on him this season, this game? Uh, I'm, um, I'm good. You know, um, I, think, I, mean, I think he should go back. I, think I'm, I just haven't seen enough of him. And like you said, you know, you see C.J. Fadri coming in. You know, game changes. And um, I think those are the type of players that we need to go for. And, um, I mean, Cristo Vela, I mean, l- I mean, let's be real. I mean, Let I me mean, you have that last name. You know, that's that's why, that's why you know, you, you're... That last name's heavy, bro. Yeah, that last name's heavy, you know, and it's... Uh, I mean, you don't play like your uncle. That's the truth, you know. <laughs> Come on, bro. He's a kid. But, I'm, but I mean, I mean, he has a future. It's going to take him time, the of course, to develop, yeah. of course. But, like, you know, it's going to... it's. Uh, I think the way I, I think we should it, go for bro, someone else. The way I see it, bro, out of this this entire you know this roster or squad that went to the final, the only people that actually get a look for like first team, Damian Lass for sure, and then probably maybe Noel, and that's it, right, in my opinion. Yeah. Cristo Vela transfer market here uh, r- reminds us that he is on loan from Cancun FC two. Cancun FC so. two. We'll see what happens yeah, there. I, I mean, I honestly, I think Cristovela's ambitions, because of the last thing that he has, his, his, his ambitions are in Liga MX, Cancun in FC my opinion. Too? Uh, I, think so? I think he he's a player shooting for Chivas. Maybe, I mean, no. in the post-match it's, it's celebrations. Over there. It's tougher over there. In I the post-match like. celebrations in the locker room, they all went on live. We were on on his live, and he had other players saying, Arriba las Chivas. Yeah, That's where he wants to go. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. I mean, you're talking Chivas, one of the powerhouses of Liga MX. Shit, I... I want to go there. You know what I'm saying? Come on, dude. I mean, to me, it, to me, you see him and you see other players <laughs> in Austin FC2 and you see other players just better than him, you know? Uh, I, mean, I, I just, can agree with that. I, I mean, can agree with that. I can just, agree with that. But is, does he have talent? Does he have Look. Does he have a future in the sport? Of course. If yeah. he works sure. hard, he's sure. going Overall, this team is the champions, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're they're in the squad for a reason. They won yeah. the... the of course. They, so everyone gets their praise, their values, their Can't powers. take that from them, yeah. Can't take yeah. that from them. They're going to have it, for, you know, And every, every single one of these players, Cristobal included, because he did score some important goals, some comeback goals, they all had a little bit to do with this winning course, season, with this did. championship season, so... Uh, moving forward into the attack, guys, we have David Rodriguez. Yeah, what a baller. What a player. Baller. In such a crucial piece for yeah. this team. Uh, it must be a joy coaching him. He looks like a player that is very serious about his craft. No BS kind of guy. Um, looks like a little kid, too. Yeah. I mean, this kid looks like <laughs> a, I mean, he literally looks like a little kid, but, you know, he's a grown man, right? But, B, your thoughts on David uh, Rodriguez. Great player. Yeah, I mean, great player, of course. You know, you know he... Uh, his goal was it his penalty against um I'm forgetting. Uh no, he's he's not the uh the P kick taker. The usual one is uh este uh Ramirez. Oh okay. David Rodriguez, he is uh, really just like a poacher in my opinion, really just like a goal scorer. I think he had uh, you know, he had a he had a, he had a good season. Oh, okay, Very okay. important season for Austin FC. I'm trying to find him here on Treasure Market so we can be reminded of what club he actually belongs to. I think he was from San S- Luis. San okay. Luis. Yep. Go in on him, Bali, please. Uh, no, I mean, David, you know, I mean, I think his impact was very, very good. You know, we even saw him go up to the first team. Um, he was on the bench. I forgot what game it was this season. But he didn't play. But just just that, you know, he's been he's been very, very key for the for the Austin FC 2 team. And I think that I, that's one of the players that I want to see in the first team. At least give him some minutes. Keep him in the Austin FC 2 team. Give him another year. But... Give him, give him some time in the first team. Give him some, some playing time. And I think that if you give him that shot, give him that opportunity, he'll take it and um, ah. he'll make it his own. Check this out right here. Uh, some 
refreshing our memory stuff here. This is a press release from January 5th. Austin FC 2 announced today the, f the team's first ever player signings, adding a trio of talented young players to its roster ahead of its inaugural season in MLS Next Pro. Midfielder Bobose Biarranga, winger David Rodriguez, and fullback Chick Ture. So there you go. Announcing the first ever signings. Austin FC 2 is an exciting step as the team continues to build towards its inaugural season. Said Austin FC 2 director, player personnel, Sean Rubio. Great pickups. Smart buy. Yeah. I mean, this is great. This is great. good. I mean. Great stuff, Sean. Yeah, hell so yeah. we got Sheik. I just Nailed wish you, you should have done this in the first team. We got Sheik. Different yeah. animal, brother. A different different animal. animal. We got yeah, Bobosi. Yeah, yeah. We got Bobosi. We got David Rodriguez. Yeah. So these players, at least these guys, they're not great going anywhere. Yeah, they're not, they're not going anywhere. Smart move. They're not yeah. going anywhere. So, Austin FC fans, you can rest easy. Chick Ture is a peer to... Okay, he says, Ch Chick Ture joined Austin FC2 as a free agent, signing a one-year contract through the 2023 season with an option for the 2024. Pick him up. Click that option. Pick that up. Pick that option. Pick that option. Quick, quick, okay. quick. Bobosi. He joins Austin FC2 from MFK Vioskov on a season-long loan with a purchase option. Are you going to purchase Bobosi? I'm purchasing it. I'm purchasing it. Purchase are, it. are you going to purchase, purchase sure. it right now? I'm not sure. Not sure? Not Send sure. me the invoice right now. David Rodriguez. Why he, not? he joins Austin FC2 from Atletico San Luis on a season long loan with the purchase option. Are we buying David We're Rodriguez? We're buying him right. Send me the invoice right now. All right. All right. Oh, you? you the <laughs> Send me the invoice right now. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, Pino, Chilean player, French player also. He has the dual citizenship. They call him the Prince El, El yeah. Principe. Little on and off for me this season, Pino. I don't yeah. know. He has talent. I know he's going to be a great player one day. I think it hasn't been <laughs> unlocked yet. Yeah. AOC, also somebody else that hasn't convinced me yet. So that nine position for the FCTO side, up in there for me. That's why we've seen guys like David Rodriguez and Valentino Noel, CJ Fadri, even EJ Johnson be important in the attack because we don't have a player like, oh, that, that nine, he's our, he's our goal scorer. I think what made this team so successful was that there was goals coming from everywhere. You know what I'm saying? There's not just one target, man. Yeah, like Austin FC2. We're not just crossing into the box. So Austin FC2 struggling with a good number nine. So is the senior team. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, on the bench, uh, we know one more person. Valentino Noel. Well. Oh, yeah. Yep. Anything else we could say on him? We kind of touched up on him. No. Like I said, man, the only team that lost for sure, and maybe Val Noel, we'll be looking at for first team okay. action, bro. In now, on, on the bench, just blazing through, uh, they had Ocampo Chavez, Santillan, Sanderson, the backup keeper, Irvin Torres, uh, Pinkman, the defender I mentioned earlier, EJ Johnson, CJ Fadri, who came on and made an instant impact, Leo Torres, and Micah Burton, star boy right there, ATX manager. Mr. Brett Utley. Gentlemen, anything else we can add on this beautiful game we just witnessed tonight here in the studio? Oh, man. Like I said, you know, this is that that one thing I'm going to remember from the season, and it was just a great final little, you know, something good at the end of the season, you know? So after suffering the whole year, bro, the whole season, just the worst. But then to end on this, it's like, okay. Uh, who gets the top flight MVP, Damien or Valentin? Damien for me. Damien? Damien. Yeah, Damien. Bobby? Damien, like I said, Damien yeah, gets I think it. Damien. The whole, Damien? The whole yeah. organization. Bro. I think Damien gets Damien, it. Bro. Damien should have got it. All right, yeah, gentlemen. He should have. Uh, Fcito, congratulations, boys. We're going to move on to the next uh, topic of conversation here on the podcast tonight. And we're just going to brush through the San Jose game. We're mainly going to focus on <laughs> the end of the not so good. <laughs> 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 right? Decis hey, decision not day. Really. Decision day. Her name, remember? Decision day. Can't wait. Very excited. I do, I do remember, bro. You don't Very gotta, excited. You know, Very there's excited. no reason that you have to throw it into my face like that, bro. That sounded like Mario. That's what I'm saying. All right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it does sound like Mario. Let's get into it, boys. Uh, ATX 1-1 San Jose at the end of the 2023 MLS season for Austin FC. I'm going to start off with a quote, if that's okay. okay. This is from Coach Wolf uh, via, <laughs> via Phil right. West, Verde All Day. Now, press conference sickos like me. This press conference was weird because apparently there was internet connection issues at the stadium that kept some journalists out of the media of the of the of the stream Availability. of the stream you could say. So there was media members at the stadium, but unfortunately, only uh, Phil West was the one that was inside talking to Josh Wolf. Now I say unfortunately, not any any knock to to Phil West, but but I like to hear the different questions yeah. that other that different media members ask. Uh, but there was only three minutes uploaded uh, to the Austin FC press conference safe or the lockbox, whatever. 
and uh, you didn't get to hear Phil West, really. You didn't get to hear Owen Wolf, who talked to the media after. So if you really want to check it out, you got to check out The Verde All Day because Phil West right now has the exclusive on last night, pretty much. So the quote is this, how it goes. Uh, it's always challenging to come to San Jose, you know. They're obviously playing for their playoff lives, and we have nothing to play for. And the players, I think, did a great job. Their level of commitment, certainly the ability to play in the first half was really good. We're under a lot of pressure in, in, in the second half, which is expected. The guys held up. It was a good point to get on the road. I was Coach Wolf speaking to Phil West. B, react to the quote, bro. <laughs> it's almost like he wants to piss people off, bro. <laughs> Somebody um, did say that. Somebody yeah, did say you know that on I mean? Twitter. Look. If this this pisses you off because you already don't want this guy here, I get it, bro. That, I mean, it's almost like, eh, you know, it's a good point on the road. Dude, we fucking missed playoffs, bro. This game was meaningless. We've never beaten San Jose. And he mentions the point on the road. Yeah. <laughs> so A point for what? Bro? Exactly, A point bro. for what? So, Wolf, come on. I mean, look, come on, bro. You're going to piss everybody off. And, and you did, but, you know, it's the end. The season's over. It's like, yeah. you know, you know. I I would have wanted him to say something like uh, addressing like the season's over, but I mean you know he gets he says this and pisses. <laughs> he, I, somebody on Twitter said that they feel like Josh Wolf is Trolley, genuinely trolling. trying to troll he's or trolling, try to piss trolling. the fan base off because he knows he's not going anywhere. He knows that any question that is thrown his way, he could say, "Oh, just ask Rollo Borrell." Oh, that's a question for Rollo Borrell. Oh, there, oh, we think this. Those little tiny answers that he gives some media members, he knows he can get away with that. It's Josh Wolf's world when it comes to press conferences, bro. He yeah. runs it. Yeah. You know, so uh, some comments here before we get Bali's he, take. Yeah. Uh, we had Stephen Mackey photo. Uh, he goes on to say, we have nothing to play for. What about pride and the badge, coach? Game was miserable to watch. 13 likes on that. Vanilla Mexican, again, quoting, we have nothing to play for is the highlight of the season. Aimless friend, Jordan, very opinionated uh, fan for Austin FC. He says, just groaning that we have to deal with more of this. He's very critical of Josh Wolf in the press conferences. We have uh, Nancy Janelli. She goes on to say, uh, what a poor mentality that this man has, talking about we have nothing to play for. Aria Sol, very active uh, member on these uh, comments. Shout out to Aria Sol. She goes on to say, I'm just going to say it. He's an effing idiot. Nothing to play for? He's lost his damn mind and his dignity. The guys deserve so much more. Open your eyes, Rodo. Bali, your reaction to the quote. Oh, man, you know, if I, if I really say what I want to say, you know, I'll, I'll probably, you probably won't see me in, uh, in the podcast anymore. I can believe it I'll, out. I'll probably get in trouble, <laughs> you know. So, uh, I can't believe it. You know, I'll be suspended for, I'll cut it, for four months. If but, I speak, uh, if, if I, I speak, speak, if I speak, if I speak, if I speak. But, uh, Man, you know, I mean, look, you, you see the fans, you know, you see the frustration, you know. Um, it just looks it looks like me, like, you know, he just doesn't care. You know, he knows, you know, I'm safe. I'm here next year. You have to watch me, and um, I'm happy here. Ha, ha, ha. So we have to deal with this guy. We have to deal with this guy. And um, earlier earlier on Twitter, you said you can't believe this guy is actually staying. I, I just and <laughs> fans came out and said, you know what, Bali, you're right. And support. I mean, what do you got to say to the people this season that were against you the first half? And as the second half of the season developed, we're saying, you know what, Bali was right. What what kind of message do you have for them? No, I mean, it, it's okay. Look, it's okay to, to open your eyes and realize the truth, right? But at the end of the day, look, I mean, look around, you know, this guy is still here. So Years to go. Did, 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 did we do enough? No, we didn't. You know, we still have fans that believe in this guy, that love this guy, that laugh. That say, ha, 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 look at the, look at the tears of the wolf out. Of the Wolf Out crowd. Look at the yeah, tears. Yeah. No, honestly, laugh, honestly, laugh. honestly, real Instead quick. Instead of being together and saying, you know what? We need better. Let's push on. Let's move forward. New sporting director. Okay? New new everything. New coach. New players. Why not? Instead, you want to believe in this freaking clown. You want to give this guy, you wanna give this guy, up, you want to give this guy another year. From the ground another up? Year. New everything? And let me tell you something. I'm going to say, you know, it's going to get worse. I'm going to say... I don't know. It's how it going can. to get worse. I don't know how it's it going can. to get worse. Next it's season, not gonna get worse, it's bro. going to get worse. No, it's going to get worse. Worse than fifth bottom, mate. Worse than fifth bottom, worse. Worse than to fifth worse. bottom in the entire league. league. It's going to get worse. This is this is relegation form in yes. some other leagues in Europe, and you're saying fifth that bottom, it can bro. get worse. <laughs> I don't think it can get worse. I don't, there's no yeah. way. Bro. I don't think it can yeah. get worse. Uh, yeah. Real quick, some stats from the match last night. Austin FC four shots, one on target. 52% possession, 501 passes with an 85% pass accuracy. One yellow, which went to Valencia. Tactical foul. And three corner kicks. Y'all ready for San Jose stats? 
San Jose, 20 <laughs> shots, 20 shots, seven on target, 48% possession, 459 passes with an 85% pass accuracy, two yellows, 15 corners to our three, five times the amount of corner kicks that we had, and we want to score goals. Bro, they were, but, the, but to be real though, Austin was done. Yeah, we have and San to Jose play for, are yeah. fighting for playoffs. Did you, Mate, we were we. Uh, this is my. Gonna, this, this is their game. Their 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 house. They got to win the playoffs. They're gonna run this 100%. game. You know what I mean? But midweek, we were told by Coach Wolf that we were going for it. That we were going for the yeah. win. He can say. He did, can, did he not say yeah. that? Yeah, I'm, he did. I'm, I'm yes, gonna pull up did. the quote. I'm yes, gonna pull up did. the quote. He can say yeah. the team was gonna do this and that, but until the team goes on the field and they decide what I mean. Like, is it gonna happen or not, bro? So yeah. we're so we're not gonna believe what Wolf says from now on. He is wants, that what of course. Saying? Why would he say he doesn't want to? Why would he say he doesn't want the he game? He said, to "Okay, win, the quote is this. This is uh, three days ago. We made the post. Quote: You want to go out and win? It's the last game of the season. We know San Jose is competing to get in the playoffs. We know they have to win in order to ensure that it's a team we have to beat. This is an opportunity to end the season in a good way. Did we end the season in a good way, Bali? No, no." No. I mean, what is he So say, why bro? lie? So why lie to the fans? You want him to say we're done and we're just like I'm not going to I mean, this I is mean, what he's got to say, bro. I mean, yeah. He's got to say that, yeah, man. Now, I don't know what else you want him to say. Bro. Another quote that had the fans talking this week was this from from Drusi. He was very critical. Oh, kinda here we slammed. go. Here we go. He kind of slammed the <laughs> defense. Yeah. Uh, he says, quote, I go. agree with Ethan and Josh. I think that defensively we were very weak. I think that in some games in the final minutes, we dropped points that today would have us qualified for the playoffs. Facts. As much as I agree with this, B, facts, you're facts, saying facts. facts. It is facts. facts. As facts. much as I agree with it, where is the self-reflection on the goal scored? Because as, as great as you are on defense, if you're not scoring goals, you're not going to win the game. We scored an, uh, a, 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 a huge amount of less goals this season. Juicy's tally halved. He was at 22 last season. He's at 11 this year. But there's yep. been games where, like, I mean, the LA game comes to mind quickly. I mean, we scored three. For we're sure. Three, one, For sure. Then, you know, you drop it at the three goals should win. And you then we did. We did game. go three zero yeah. against Dallas and three zero against Houston the next the next yeah. two games. So it just our defense has been horrible. Some of the comments <laughs> they have been horrible. Yeah. Some of the comments, Derek and Deitch, hurt. He says the defense is a huge problem, but also it was just as bad last year. Uh, somebody uh, else I says I don't know if it was just as bad last year, bro. Somebody else said Ray Charles could see that. <laughs> messed up. Uh, we had a Laveri 22 they go on to say love you Seb truly do but 11 goals and a 6 plus million dollar paycheck for you this year <laughs> and your best buddy getting 2 million plus scoring 5 goals oh. <laughs> seems like the offense was pretty trash too top 5 paid player in the league captain and last year runner up MVP hold yourself more accountable mate on to 2024. <laughs> what a comment, Ouch. bro. Pin that one. Pin, Pin it. Pin that one. Pin it. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, but don't talk about Emmy because he might get mad at you. You're right. Hey, don't do that because he right. might get like, upset at you. Don't, like, don't, that's don't, his boy. Don't diss his, his best friend. Somebody replied, don't talk about his buddy. The wizard said five goals in a weak league in like MLS is pretty bad. That is true. Emmy Emmy has not flop. lived up to it's his expectations. The big man. Big, big All right, boys. We, now, he did such a man. What a mistake. Back what to the mistake. game. We kind of <laughs> what a mistake. Back bro. to the game. We kind of diverted a little bit. Uh, I want to talk about the lineup real quick. Because this is our last lineup of 2023. Pretty good nice, lineup. Awesome. This is Business our lineup as usual. Yeah, I, this is our I lineup hope, of this season. Man, I hope most of these players are gone. Hopefully, <sighs> half of these players, Bali, had something to play for. Half of these players, B. Did not have yeah. something to play for. Rigoni, nothing to play for. Drusi, nothing to play for except pride, whatever. Right. He had a poor performance. Leo, neither. Owen Wolf, nothing to play Leo for. Leo, tampoco. Leo, nothing to Julio play now, for. Julio, now, Valencia, now. nothing to play for. Yeah. Julio got a new contract, nothing so, to play yeah. for. Galli, nothing to play for. Stuver locked in. Lima, I think he was still good. Finley uh, did have something to Finley, play for. Finley, Valencia, Ring. probably, right? Valencia, based on if he's going to start next season yeah. and stuff like that. Are we going to get rid no, of him gone. or whatever? He's gone. On the bench is where we had more of the names that had something to play for. Adam Lunkovic, a player that is in limbo. Uh, Will Bruin, player that is in limbo. Memo Rodriguez, player that is in limbo. And then we had Dani Pereira on the bench, which was another big controversial topic this week, and we can touch up on it super quick. Dani Pereira being left out of the bench again. Is it tactical? Is it resting for him? Or is this a tactic for Dani Pereira to, you know, kind of soften up and sign a new contract? Because that's what the big talking point around him right now. Is his GA contract up? They usually go three years. Those three years are now up. What's going to happen with Dani, Bali? I mean, honestly, I don't know what's going on with Dani. You know, hopefully, hope. I mean, Austin FC loves Dani. 
and uh, hopefully he does stay here. I we mean, love would, Diego. I would, I would, I would love Diego. We love I would, Diego. I would love to see Danny here for for another year, and maybe give him a, a a new contract and maybe more money. But you know, I have to, to me, I feel like Danny. You know, I feel like him. He he's, he's growing so fast, and he's such a talented player that they grow up so fast. I feel like uh, I feel like with this coach, you just you just can't you won't go to that next level. <sighs> okay. So you know, I think honestly, if, I agree if, with that. I agree with that. Danny, 100%. if if anyone like if LAFC come for you, Danny, or like. If if, Mate, if, if, no, if ATL no, or like no, or no, like no, no, anybody no. in Mexico you come you for you or maybe somewhere in Europe, if they come for you, take that opportunity. No, you're wrong. Take that opportunity, Danny, because you're I want to see you grow. So I want to see you be one of the best players in the world. And with this coach, and I'm sorry, with this team, Austin FC, it just won't happen right now. As much as I agree. I'm sorry. With, I love you. I, I actually, but I'm telling you the truth. I agree with half your take. I don't want to see him go in league somewhere else. I, th- I think he no. would do great in, no. uh, in LAFC, honestly. LAFC wants him. You've you've, I you've think heard he would them. Do, I think he would do. You, awesome. you, you've heard them coming yeah. after him. A lot of fans out there. They're even after Alex Ring now because yeah. they know that his contract is in limbo. And LAFC X, a big account that covers LAFC, he's asking or they're asking their fans, their listeners, if they would fancy Alex Ring in a maybe Tam or Gam lower salary situation at LAFC. I mean, in such an attractive destination. You can't blame these guys for wanting to go, but it would hurt Austin FC fans. I I, I include myself yeah, in there of course. to see him in another jersey and in, in another conference rivals team. Yeah. That, I mean, this is this is Diego all over again. Yeah. I would I would want that. Uh, B, I want to ask you: Are we witnessing a fallout between Danny uh, Pereira and Coach Wolf? I don't know about fallout or anything like that, but look, the, one thing I do say is that the cards are in his hand, bro. Like he got his co- he 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 did his contract. It's it's literally up to him. And, I mean, there's no way that Austin FC isn't eager to keep this guy here, bro. I mean, I think that's one of their priorities that should be on top of all those lifts is figure this part out. He's going to be at the top of the list of, of what does he want? What is his mentality? Does, does he want, Like Bali said, does he want to play for a different coach? Maybe there's bigger teams out there calling that maybe you can of grow. Of course, with. man. I mean, or if or if he wants to stay here, or if he's gonna want a bigger, like a you know, double, triple yep. his salary. Well, it's all up to him, bro. He needs to figure that out, bro. And it, yeah. it, me personally, and I'm pretty sure the club is feels the same. We want you here, bro. We want you 100%, to keep going here. Hundred percent. But it, it's ultimately gonna be up to him, bro. The the city wants Danny. Yeah. The city wants him here. Potential. He's he's our young, bright star player, bro. Yep. Potential yep. for him is is crazy. So. We want to keep this gem, but, but we also have in mind that he's destined for. Yeah, but why Serie not? Why not? Don't don't lock yourself in for your entire youth, bro. I mean, why not just get a two, three, two option with? Three, it's, up know, so it's up to the it's player. It's up to the player too. It's up to the player too. It's up to the player too. After I mean, if, uh, I mean, if they call you, Danny, you you answer that call and and you, and you take that offer. Call me nah, instead. I'm telling you, G, I'm <laughs> call telling me instead. Telling you, he didn't send me. You don't put me. Classic. Yeah, me, 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 no, 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 Classic. It's a great song. Yeah, really call me. Don't call LAFC. I personally wouldn't blame you, bro, at all. I wouldn't. You, all, you owe us nothing, bro. At all. You do. You, you have one career. You do you what go you gotta to, do. If you go to a squad, LAFC me. or a squad being built, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be like, man, screw you, no, bro, because. You showed us. I would love for you to stay though. Don't get me hey, wrong. This go, I want to hey, concur that too. point. This goes to you too, Owen Wolf. If someone else calls you, you answer that phone call. I want to. You, you go. I want to. I want to push back on that point that Danny doesn't owe us anything. We saved him from the Colorado Rapids. If if in that draft we did not pick him first, if we selected Philip Mayaka, Danny Pereira was projected to go number three to the Colorado Rapids. There's stories that have been told of Colorado buying up to pursue Danny Pereira. We saved him from fans walking out, empty stadium. He doesn't owe us anything in any weird sense or whatever, but maybe a little gratitude. Bro, first order of business, top three things, bro, needs to do right now for me. Lars, Owen, and Danny. Figure okay. those three players out, bro. All right, boys. Uh, another question I had, and y'all, we don't have to spend much time on it, but it is important because Maxi Ruti is gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you just, you just found that out or what? He was – it's it's in the notes. Okay. He was not in the team sheet, well. me, nor in the lineup, nor in the subs. He's gone. I haven't seen him post anything. I don't know if he blocked us again. Um, but if he's just MIA right now, Maxi, thank you for your service. Your biggest contribution for Austin FC was the banger goal against San Jose, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. That was yeah, it. That's yeah. all you did. Biggest That's contribution. That's all you did. That and the last minute goal against yeah. uh, Montreal. This season. This season. In the yeah. early stages. That's it. This guy, this guy, at one point of the season, and it was early, decided I'm done, and he just that's it. Wow. I, I, he didn't even like. We'll see at the end. Let's push forward. Let's see what we can do. There was a point in the season where he goes, bro, I'm out of here, and then just yeah. 
That's why he was going to sleep so good at night while we're yeah. freaking fighting yeah. for our fucking life. You know what what upsets me the most of the way that Maxi left is I Gave feel up? no 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 I feel like the friendship that he struck with Danny Pereira because they've been hanging out a lot recently. They're they're they they they've been getting close. You can see it in the training videos. They're always walking out together. Dang, him, hey, Valencia, what you Maxi. Like Danny, come, come, come with me. I think maybe <laughs> some maybe some stuff has been rubbing off on Danny. I don't know. I mean, where, where, why is this fallout happening out of out of nowhere? We don't know if it's a fallout, though. <sighs> we don't read, know if it's read a fallout, between bro. the lines, bro. Bro, you, you you could be softening him up for the contract, like you said, bro. Ben, okay, you know, you're right. Benefit of the doubt. We don't know for we sure. Know. We can't we can't confirm it here on the top flat pod, anyways. Um, but every time a player doesn't perform well, he's falling out with Wolf. That's just, been the story of the season. Maxi is a player that you want to distance yourself from. Maxi fall out with Wolf. People, people, bro. Every player that leaves is gonna have a fallout with Wolf. That's just. That's uh, been the narrative. Do you, you, know? do you see what I'm saying, Bali? When I say that Maxi is the kind of player with the energy that you want to distance yourself, he's kind of like an Uba. He's not a good role model. You're Obama saying Young. He's not a good role model. That's what. Look, and I that's mean, facts. I mean, look, I don't know the guy. And, and, and I don't know the guy on a personal level. And, I don't either. And, 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 I'm and talking on a football aspect. And I don't want to, to be honest. <laughs> and I don't want to. But you know, the fact that you know you come out and you say, "Hey, man, I I sleep well at night." <laughs> I'm fine. Meanwhile, you know, you're losing your But while shit. We're, 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 <laughs> we're struggling in the league, fighting week in, week yeah. out, you there, you go home, you sleep tight, you sleep good, you you go, you get in your BMW, and ah, you drive, and, you know, look, Moxie, look, just don't let that door hit you on your way out, okay? Mm-hmm. And make sure you leave ASAP. I think he's gone. Concept. I think he's gone. And I think when he's he gone. announces and that, that, that Austin gone. tattoo... <laughs> Might as well de- take that out. Remove that. No, no. That remove that. That's remove something that. that he does. It's remove that. that. He has remove a that, please. He has tattoo. He has Montreal, a Dallas tattoo. Montreal. Austin. He's, he just tattoos his... his and I always wondered, like, why does he go from team to team? To t- and now I know. <laughs> you're just not good enough. And nobody wants you. Well, yeah, we had him here for a while. We, we we wanted him for a bit. Yeah. So I think maybe... I, you know, Max is just a player that's on the wrong side of 30. He's aging. He's done. You know, uh, well, d- not done. He could go play in Argentina. He could go back to Newell's old boys. He could yeah. go to some Argentinian team. And all credit to him. He could go to Miami. I think his his his, his agent's office is in Miami. So I'm I'm very curious to see what they can do for him because you got to get Suarez. So. I, I like yeah. you. I like what you did the second season and everything for us and everything. You put but, in a but shift the, at yeah, the second season. He did, but the way. Now, like the stuff that you're putting on your story, stuff that you're saying, you, you just piss me off. Like, like I said, I bro. Like leave. I said, at one point he said I'm done, and then he just he was yeah. done. And, and I want to clear something up. I don't want to attack him on a personal level. When I said that he's not a good role model, the sense that I'm saying is like, if I had a son that was a soccer player growing up, I'd like him to look up to players like. Um, you would play him over every player every game. Ronaldo, you know, players like Messi, players like with dedication. You know, I know that it's like a like a far fetch, but let's see, some, somebody from Austin FC, you know, that's just a hard worker. Um, Gallagher, bro. Gallagher, thank Gallagher, you, Gallagher. thank you for that. Finley, Gallagher, Finley, Finley, hundred percent. Why did I say Finley? You know, guys like that that are just journeymen, hard workers, head down, get to work, just zero complaining. Proper journeyman. Z- you know, proper journeyman. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So that that's what I meant by that. I don't want anybody to get it twisted and then go tell Maxi that oh the tough player, but no, come on, we're, he's we're, gone, we're done, bro. Don't worry about it. He's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Who cares? Hey, Who cares? Bye bye. Bye bye. He's not coming <laughs> back. <laughs> See ya. All right, last last question for Austin FC guys. Uh, if Ring and ATX part ways, are you confident in Valencia to fill in his spot? Can he be an Alex Ring type player? Oh, Valencia's gone too, man. No, I don't mm. think so. I think so. No, no I way. I think so. I, I think, think so. The shoes that Ring ha- was wearing. I think so. I don't think he'll fit those. Bro. I don't think, but look, I don't think Valencia's good enough, honestly. There's been, like, sparks, maybe a, a one that one game or maybe 30 minutes of the game before that where, like, he was on, on some, like, other shit. It's like he was he changed. He was just a great player. But we've just barely seen that of all the, you know. So, bring, I think, I don't think, I think we would have to replace. I mean, no. To answer your question, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, we see yeah. here a, a screenshot of the goal. That San Jose scored their their goal, their only goal of the game. It came from a mistake. Uh, minute 16, playing out the back, Cascante compromises Valencia with a poor pass that wasn't controlled by the Colombian CDM. Ibobasi steals it. Espinosa picks it up and buries it. Stuver is left with no chance. I want to ask you, gentlemen, who was that on? Was that a Cascante mistake or was that a, a Valencia mistake by not being able to control the pass? Bali. It's a Valencia mistake. Valencia mistake. Valencia mistake. I, was, I, mean, I thought you were gonna say Julio. No, no. I mean, I mean, the wolf is telling Julio, you play out the back, okay? Yeah. That's what you do, okay? Yes. So that's what Julio's doing. He's playing out the back. It's poor, on poor, both, poor touch. Poor it's touch by both, Valencia. Bro. Poor touch. If you if he has a strong touch on that ball, he you know he, he can pass it to to Leo. You know, pass it back to Stuber, and we we move forward. B. You know, poor touch. 
you know, touches uh, the goal. On this screenshot, we can probably upload it to the feed later, and I'm going to send it to you, see if you can put it up so the fans can see it also. Um, if you're Julio Cascante, why play it to Valencia? When you have Stuver, who could easily open it over there to the left side, who's that, uh, Leo Weissenden over there that's waiting for it, and you can go up that, that left side. Or pump fake to the left, Alex Ring is right there. Why thread it through the middle where there's two players and you compromise Valencia? To be fair, it got through the players. It was Valencia's touch that yep. fucked it up. Um, okay. But the decision was also shitty. So it's both. The decision to do it there was risky. Then Valencia not being able to control it really well, letting it get too far ahead of them, and that caused the goal. So it falls on both. Okay. Now, uh, the goal by Owen Wolf. We got to give him a shout. Yeah. Uh, was it was it a thing that he wanted to do? Was it an accident? Didn't matter. The ball went into the back of the net. Uh, we're Austin TV. Went on Twitter and uploaded a picture of Jared Borghetti, Mexican <laughs> yeah, fans. You know, if you know, you know. know. Yeah. Uh, we, we put that is such a classic. We, we put goal. Owen Wolf out of nowhere tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It was a great header, yeah. a great goal. If he meant to do that, my respects. If he didn't mean it, to do it, it still counted. Yeah. Only he'll know, bro. Only if he'll know. I'm, I'm just going to say he meant to do it because it's a badass goal if he did. Like, if he meant to do that, like, it, top – Top three goal of the season, bro. If you meant to do that, but obviously people are saying maybe he didn't. Uh, we see but here. To me, it's up there if he if he meant it. I'm trying to find uh, if Owen Wolf commented on his goal with Phil West. I don't think he did. Phil West kind of asked him about the criticism that he saw online. Owen Wolf said that he doesn't pay attention to Twitter. He's a big Instagram guy, and mm -hmm. I I I kind of believe it because he's always posting pictures of him and uh, his girl on his uh, Instagram account. But Bali, I wanna I wanna ask you, um, mm -hmm. your 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 thoughts. I want to see if you can give me your thoughts on Owen Wolf's goal. Um, it, nice goal. I mean, I think it was a, a very, very nice goal, you know, and um, very happy for Owen. You know, that's, I mean, he, we can say all we want about, about his dad, you know, we can criticize him, but man, his son, it, he's, a player, kid, he, bro. he's a player, man. He's, he's a special, player, man. Yeah. He's good. You know, people can hate on him all you want. Ah, you start your son. He's good. Okay. He starts yeah. because he's good. He can play. Yeah. You know, he, he has stamina. He has a motor on him and, and he's he can young, run bro. and he's young and he has a great future. So, yeah. I'm happy for them. I think it was a great goal. Regardless if he if he meant it or not, you know what? He put his head on it and he scored. Happy yeah, for him. There, there's no mention of the goal here on this interview. It's kind of just talking about the criticism he and his father have received online. Does he pay <sighs> attention to it? I they mean, talk about Europe here. He uh, name dropped you, Bali. <laughs> <laughs> no, he ah, well, no, Come he on, chill out, Owen. Uh, he said... Uh, he said, quote, to be honest with you, I haven't seen anything about that. I don't pay attention to on social media all that much. So I kind of have no input on that. Um, and then Phil asks him if, if that's something that his dad has, has taught him. And Owen says that he doesn't like Twitter or anything. He just has his Instagram. That's it. And when talking about Europe, Owen said, yeah, of course, at some point I want to go overseas. But right now I'm here in Austin. I'm just going to continue to improve as a player. Keep doing everything I can to improve. Be any thoughts on Owen? Great um, answer. Great answer. Really? Yeah, great answer. I mean, if his dad's staying, he's staying to me. I, they got to get him to stay. And I'm, I'm, I will be happy for him to stay as well. What a player. Like Bali said, he gets a lot of heat just because his dad, people hate his dad. They want yeah. him out of this club. Genuine club. hate. Genuine, Genuine hate. hate. I mean, they hate, they want him out of the football club. And then the team doing so shitty. And then him choosing to play you over some players. Maybe, hey, why doesn't he play? You, you get that, that, that heat. So, but. Despite all that, I think he's a great player, like Bali said, bro. Yeah. And I want him to stay. There were also some awards that backed that claim. B, you know, he was yeah. voted at the um, best twenty-two and under, no, best twenty under twenty-two, and uh, young player of the of the year also. Yeah, and, and then another uh, last thing on there is he scored two banger goals this season, yeah. bro. To me, yeah. this one was a banger goal. Within the goal against yeah. RSL was a banger yeah. as well. Yeah. So. And remember the maxi topic we had a couple minutes ago. Yeah. This is Owen on who he on who he hangs out with. Right. Quote. I hang out with Hector mm. and Ethan Finley a lot. There and those are the guys I look up to. And especially yeah. Julio and Alex yeah. and Sebastian. Yeah. Experienced players that have been around the game for a long time. Yeah. Hey. He didn't mention Maxi. <laughs> yeah. oh, <was> <laughs> <over the head. laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, Maxi wouldn't want to be in that crowd. That's what I'm saying. That. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Uh, all right, boys. Let's see. Anything else we can add on to the Austin MC topic? Kind of touched up on a lot. Uh, where do we go from here? 2024. Get ready for... Evaluation of the roster, bro. Self, I mean, self criticism. Self, criti self criticism and moves. Who's leaving? Who's staying? Who's coming? You know all that stuff. You know, like H said earlier, like you know, we're we're gonna keep uh, following this team very deeply. So forgettable season, bro. What I'm gonna remember is FC winning the chip. It's gonna be my my memory looking back at this year. Um, 
What else? 2023, I mean, the year of the Academy. Yeah. The year of the Academy. And then also on the negative note, the worst game of the season, the worst feeling, the worst part for me, in my opinion, bro, was that second leg against Violet at home where we couldn't turn up the 3 0 deficit that we did in the DR. Oof. For me, that's going to be the, the lowest point of the season for me, bro. The, the, the year of cup exits and the year of the Academy successes. Yeah. I guess. Now, boys, moving, uh, changing gears, moving into the European side of things, if I may. I top flight derby. Top flight derby. Got to get into it, mate. Chelsea versus Arsenal. It was a 2-2 two -two result. Play it, play it. But they got lucky. They got lucky. Yeah. Arsenal got lucky. <laughs> B, you we were saying lucky. that this was Chelsea's best performance yeah, of the season sure, sure. and Arsenal's worst performance sure, of the season. For sure, for sure. As I play the highlights, uh, I need you to back up that. Yeah, no, I mean, Chelsea started off just amazing, bro. They... Pochettino lined up this squad, lined up this team to, to perfection in the beginning, bro. I mean, we we pretty much ran this game for 70 minutes, bro. Did, did Chelsea outplay all? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, bro. The, from, from the 60th minute to the 70th minute where Sanchez made that mistake, during that 10 minutes, we were knocking on that third goal, bro. We were knocking on the final nail in the coffin, and we didn't get it. We had some chances. We didn't get it. Then Sanchez with the mistake. I mean, you give Arsenal a lifeline, bro. The way they've been playing this season, they uh, as soon as I saw that mistake, I knew that Arsenal were gonna for, try to push forward, bro. For the neutral EPL fans that know about Chelsea, don't pay it to them as much as a uh, Chelsea fan like you does. And be. if you're not a fan of the EPL, come Chelsea. If you're not a fan of the EPL, <laughs> what can you tell them about this this lineup? Because we had Sanchez in goal. Yes. You were very <clears> critical <throat> of him. Who was that? Gusta or Gusto? Gusto. Gusto on the on the right back position. Thiago Silva, who's still playing. Bro, uh, who's that? Colwell. 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 First, he just barely got his first call out to the English national team. Cucurella, a player that I'm familiar with with his La Liga history. He's been exploding for us. P POS, uh, Gallagher. Academy player. Gallagher, ca captain? Yes, captain and academy and English. Caicedo, high. Oh, you know of him. <laughs> high profile signing. Uh, shout out to him for getting his yeah. mom out the hood. Enzo. Enzo Fernandez, Enzo another Fred. high profile. Drusi's homeboy. Yeah. Uh, Cole Palmer, right? From City. Yeah. Cole Palmer from City. We got him this Raheem year. Raheem Sterling. You know Sterling. And the star boy, Mudrik. Mudrik. Banger Akala goal. Mudrik. Modric. I don't think he Modric. meant it, bro. I, I think Owen meant his, but I don't know if Modric oh, meant it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. But uh, the, the Reese? thing... Reese? Reese James just barely... Could, there was, room, there what, was what talks that he was going to come in. Injury problem. Bro, he's Reece. been... Bro, he's been, come uh, on. He hasn't had a first shot this I season. I think Reese James' sister is clear of him. Nah, so. you're Lauren, talking Lauren? crazy. Bro, you're talk she, she's Lauren? a, she's a bro, great she's player. A, bro, she's a MVP baller. of the league last year. She is a baller. She MVP can play. Can Reese James say that? No. MVP of the Come league, on, you'll never sing that. MVP of the league, you'll never sing that, Reese James. <laughs> bro, his sister's way you better. You don't know? Way He's better. You don't know. Way you don't know. But, um, his sister was wild at the World Cup, though. She had that red card. She got a red card. Yeah, yeah, England yeah. and red cards at the World Cup go hand in hand. <laughs> yeah. For real. But uh, if you look at the squad, we played with a no number nine, and I think that's what got to Arsenal, bro. Because I think Arsenal center backs, um, uh, Gabriel. Gabriel and... Um, Saliba? Este, sa Saliba. Hey, Saliba. Saliba. El mejor del mundo es Saliba. Bro, bro yeah. we played with a free for all number nine, mate. It was Gallagher. It was Cole Palmer. It was Sterling. It was Modric. They would just, they would yeah. see like four different number nines. They didn't know who to mark, bro. Pochettino yeah. masterclass. But exactly, bro. Pochettino masterclass. Pochettino set this up to, to confuse the center backs. Jinzenk, I mean, I'm sorry, Martinelli, unlocked by Gusto. Saka, unlocked by Gucurella. And where does Odegaard? Odegaard was nowhere to be found the whole game. We let we gave them a lifeline. We gifted them a goal, and then Gusto, hey, fell asleep. No hands down. Horrible. Yeah. Fell asleep. Playing well all that's game. Fell asleep. Yeah, let the you, game go in, and Arsenal hey, get the what, point. Bro. I mean, Bali, that's, that's what you have. Hey, you hear me very yeah. confident, very upset, yeah. very emotional. You can hear the yeah. the tone in his voice. Yeah. Arsenal's on a high. On a high. I see Arsenal fans saying that they're going to win the league. Very oh, confident. I mean, what was this? I mean, look. I mean, this this is what you ha you have to be focused when you're playing one of the best teams in the world. B, <laughs> you have to understand that you have to be focused for ninety minutes. Yeah, you for sure. You for give sure. us a you give us a shot. That's facts. That's we, facts. We gonna that's eat facts. you. That's facts. We gonna eat that's you facts. alive. That's facts. We gonna eat you alive. That's facts. And that's what we did. You, you know? can't you can't deny the fact that Odegaard was MIA. No, yeah, we were. We were. And no, that Zaka and Martinelli were not. No, alive. Chelsea. I'm not. Chelsea played it very very yeah. well. Chelsea played very very well, and Chelsea are gonna be a threat. To Give them fair, time and they're going to be a threat. Be I have fair, a lot this, of questions. This, lot this of was questions. the worst performance of Arsenal season. Yeah, the, and and El Chelsea's was the best. Yeah. Yeah. So you know it all came down to that. I know? have a lot of questions on this on on this lineup. Yeah. Why are so many big names on the bench? 
and one oh, name and one name that's and one name that's not even on the bench, Ramsdale. Aaron. Or, oh, or yeah. is there so is Aaron, there a fallout? No, no. I mean that's we don't I mean, look, that is a great question. There might be a fallout. Who knows? You know, having two the two keepers that could start, it, it, I mean there could be there could be a fallout there. But don't worry about it. You know, Aaron's uh wife was giving birth, so that's why he was not oh, at this game. Okay. You know, stop okay. st- stop starting the drama. My fault. It's not. It's, it's, everything's okay. Is what I do. But David Rea is uh, <laughs> is our starting goalkeeper right now, and uh, hope. he <laughs> he did have a mistake in this yeah. game. Yeah, he is very short. I think yeah. he's about my height, maybe a little taller than me. Raya. Yeah. Okay. He's like five, five not five. You know, ten. Ke- you know Kevin uh, Moreno, right? Yeah, yeah. My G Kevin. Yeah. Oh, me, me and him were on the same uh, Sunday league team. Yeah. And we, we, we battered a team eight nil. They had no subs. They were gas. We completely like <laughs> took <laughs> advantage <laughs> of them, right? Eight nail. I even scored a penalty, uh-huh. uh, but Kevin clean sheet. And <laughs> Kevin Kevin was feeling himself, and I was like, "Let's go, Raya, let's go, Raya." Ah, you're uh, hyping him up, yeah, hyping yeah, him up, yeah, hyping Raya, him up. Raya. But he feels like he's more of a Ramsdale. Yeah, I mean it's it's very unfair because Ramsdale honestly he hasn't done anything wrong, you know. Yeah. But um, but if I may add, bro, Paprika FC, shout out, shout out my brothers. FC, yeah. Paprika. If I may add, bro. This is the type of games that I love to watch. Like, I look, I get it. Disappointment. We lost two points, bro. We could have, we could have been three zero. You know, yeah. I mean, it hurts would've because been a huge three it would have been a all. huge mark of point, right? It would have been a huge, but we let it slip and it hurts. But just to see these kind of games, bro, this is why I love the Premier League, yeah. bro. The lineup: Raya and Go. Uh, who's that? Declan? R- no, not that. That's what? White. What's his name? White. What's his first name? Benjamin. Benjamin ben White. Yeah, ben White. Saliba. Saliba. Gabriel. Gabby. Zinchenko, who Zinni? said he was gonna rip somebody's Zinni? testicles off if they scored. Zinni. And they did score, and he didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, moving forward, all they got Ghost. captain. Ghost. Ghost. Jorginho, Jorginho, secret the agent. Jorginho. Secret agent. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I never knew. I never knew I was. Go- I was gonna love Jorginho this much. <laughs> what? I love. He's that a guy, player, bro. ain't he? Bro, he's I a player, ain't he? Love that guy, bro. He's a pro. Bro, bro, I love that guy, you bro. Guys Honestly, bro. remember you when guys he was he had the Ballon d'Or shout? I hated him, bro. I don't remember like when Georgia, he had the Ballon d'Or yeah, shout? Yeah, yeah, bro. bro, I couldn't believe it. And he was close to no. winning yes, it, bro. Yes, bro. bro his, he his, was close. Bro, his personality is live, bro. That was he has year, a great personality. That was the year Italy guy. won the Euros. He won the Euros, he won and the Euros. he was he missed like the, in the final, though, the penalty. But he he scored the game winning once to send him to the final. You're right. He won the Champions League with Chelsea. Yeah, he yeah. was a UEFA player, midfield of the year. I mean, this yeah, guy. Yeah. He's, he's the champion, and he's bringing that mentality and now to he's us. He's retiring at Arsenal, so. Get in the bag. <laughs> Get in the bag. Declan Rice, Dec- high profile signing. 100 million. High profile. 100 million. Don't I forget rate that. him highly, bro. 100 million. Saka. Unlock, boy. Saka. Unlock, boy. Coming that, back from that, injury. Cucurella that, had that, him, bro. That, that's a $200 million player right there. Coming back that's from injury. Fast, that's that's 200 million right there. But Cucurella had him, bro. Gabriel. Gabriel. Martinelli. Martinelli. On, on Unlock, too, by Gusto. On the bench, I don't know who this guy is. Hein. That's our that's our backup goalkeeper. Thomas Partey. Thomas why Partey, is he not you know, starting? I mean, he's coming back from injury. Okay. Smith Rowe. Smith, Smith Rowe. Rowe. Why that, is he not starting? And that's that's going to be uh, that's, that's a question. Rotational player right now. Rotational player. Eddie. Eddie. Eddie Murphy, and great player. What's what's going on with him? Um, rotational not player? starting rotational player. I mean, okay. Uh, Kiwi or who's that? Uh, left uh, left center back. Okay, you know we signed up last year. Great player. Tommy Yasu. Tommy, Tommy, he can hey, play right hey, back, hey, left hey. back, and Trossard. center back. Trossar, why? What the heck, bro? He scored the he the came tying in. He goal. Came in, yeah, he yeah, came, came in. in. Okay, he okay, okay. Yeah. Reese Nelson. Reese, great and then academy then player. <laughs> and Kai. Kai. Li- bro, still I living love off of that Champions we League We love goal. Kai, man. Bro, he scored it, bro. You won this Kai. The, against the mighty you, city. Hey, you won Kai. Against the mighty city. Ancelotti wanted Kai. He said, I want Kai. Let's watch the Champions League final where Chelsea won it. Let's just watch the whole extended I, highlight. <laughs> no. You know you like Kai. No, I'm, I'm, I'm straight. Bro, bro, but it was a great point, game. Honestly, point, he scored the game. winner for the Club World Cup, so... As like a Chelsea fan, he will always be cemented. I like I don't know why the highlights don't want to play, but we know that Mudrik scored a really nice goal. Yeah, yeah, it was, it, it was not a mean. nice goal. It was all luck. He, he wasn't even looking up. Because he never, luck. he was only looking to cross the ball. Goalkeeper started. mistake. That oh, was it. That was it. Probably because yeah. it's connected to the HDMI converter. All right. Well, enough talk on Chelsea Arsenal. Yeah, great game. Enough talk on them. Great game. Fantastic game of the game. weekend. Game of the game of the weekend. Yeah. Be you yeah. show right. My game, game of the weekend. Right, yeah, rightfully so. Uh, yeah. Real quick, some other matches around the league. If I can pull them up. Oh, thank you. Let's go through them. Liverpool beat Everton. The Merseyside Derby. Bournemouth lost to Wolves. Wolves. Brentford slapped Burnley. Man City uh, trying to avoid another defeat. They beat Brighton two to one. Great game, uh, by the way. I shout out, yeah. shout out to Dylan. Dylan, the new Brighton fan. 
the new Brighton. Oh Brighton, yeah, the yeah. Well, well, hey. Shout out, bro. shout, shout out, hey, shout out. hey shout man. Out. I'm I'm a fan. I like Brighton. Yeah, yeah. I like. I think they have they, very very good players. Newcastle Magpies stand up for real. Bro, they're for Crystal Newcastle. Palace getting smacked. Bro. Crystal Palace. You'll never be bought out by Saudi. You'll never Same sing that, bro. That's been your go-to. This that's week. that's my go-to. <laughs> what? Uh, Nottingham Forest. Shout out Mark Turner. They Nottingham tied Forest. two what two. Is going Luton? On? Hey, Luton, they're down what for the point, bro. What is going on? Hey, Mark Turner. What is going on? That got Stevie? Be embarrassing. What's Stevie bro, Cooper? They, he needs to sack, mate. He needs to sack. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to sack. No, trust Stevie. Trust sack. Stevie. Trust Stevie. Give it to Rune. Give, oh, it, to no Give it to Rooney. Give it to Rooney. Give it to Rooney. Give it to Rooney. He's already with Tom Brady at B- Bellingham. No, uh, yeah, he's with Bur- uh, Birmingham. 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 Yeah. Birmingham. Yeah. Birmingham. Rooney though. Rooney. Ah, Give it to Rooney. Crazy. Give it to. Oh. Give it to Jesse March. Lampard. Give it to Jesse March. Yeah, give Lampard give it a to shot. Jesse March. Give Lampard a shot. Give Lampard a shot. He's looking for work. Lampard needs to go to Saudi, I think. <laughs> He's looking for work. With Gerard. Send him to the hall. Saudi with Gerard. Send him to the hall. He's looking for work. Send him to the hall. We need guys right now. United? United barely beating United, Sheffield. Bro, is, hey, Eric, United is so shit. Er, hey, Eric, moment of silence. Moment of silence. silence. He's sick right now. Oh, he's sick. Oh, he's sick. Oh, he feels a little under the weather. Oh. He didn't send us any notes. I said, look, bro, eat some soup. Real, Take bro. the weekend Calito, off. Bro. I haven't even talked to him. Bro, bro honestly, so bro, United has been getting to my G's mental Damn, health. Bro. Bro, and bro, and that. honestly, I, I've I been seeing it. it. You know I've how been much seeing it all around. No, no, you know real, how much honestly. he feels about United. And it sucks because United, they have some diehard fans. Yeah, they, they really, really do. The club bro. is it's it's bad from the core. It's, yeah. it's from so the core, fucked, bro. It's so bad. Bro. It's from the core. So but but I mean, there's a beam of hope with Sir Sir Jim Ratcliffe. He's 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 coming in as one of the new owners. Okay, uh, okay. He, he's 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 that gonna change, bro, he's gonna shit, he's bro. gonna acquire a percentage of the club via the Glazers because they didn't sell to to the Saudis to the Saudis. But Jim, the Sir Jim Ratcliffe, he is gonna get a portion the of the Saudis the club. will fix it, bro. They'll throw an insane amount of wolf to it and just like Dude, one one day, bro. They were going to fix it and they what, said no. Yeah. Look, bro. One day I would love to just sit down and for an hour just talk the Man United to Saudi deal. Yeah, bro. Because this is more than football. Yeah, bro. This is an this is. The biggest, biggest deal of all time, of all time yeah, in sports. Yeah. This is bigger involved, than bro. Miami. Yeah, yeah. This would be a transfer of power. Yeah, yeah honestly. Yeah, and and yeah. England can't have it go to no, Saudi. They, they need to keep that power in. Facts, England. bro. We could have a whole pot on. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. One yeah, day yeah, I really, yeah. if we could, maybe Eric can come in. We we yeah, need like a yeah. like. He a, won't understand. He a wants a good conversation. Move. Maybe we'll have a United Patreon. But I mean, pot. It, I don't know if he wanted the Saudi. He wanted it. He really did. Bro, he was desperate. Bro, he wanted anything. Oh yes, but I told him. I told you it won't happen, and I I called it. Bro, didn't the fans have a walkout though? He did. You remember that one time that they went to. Yeah, they they postponed the game, bro. Yeah. They, they started the like game. destroying the stadium and like the, wow. the cameras and everything. Yeah. Like, come on, man. At they least they tried. It. At least they, they tried. tried. Hey, you know, they get they tried it. You know what? At least they tried. They failed. Respect Columbus did that, that too, didn't they? They failed. Columbus Colorado, crew? Colorado, Colorado. Colorado, Columbus. Colorado walked Colorado? out recently this no, year. No, man, Columbus destroyed their own restrooms and shit. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, they Chris, did. Chris oh, Bill said it on the episode. Oh, remember oh, that time. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and, bro, that they, they that came after Chris yeah. Bills, bro. That wasn't good. They came after Chris Bills. But let's get Villa. Villa. West Ham. They lost. No, no Villa they, beat West Ham. They destroyed West Ham. Damn. Villa and then tomorrow. Hey, Emery is doing bro, good. Bro, tomorrow, mate. Let's talk about this for a little bit, bro. So when this, when people are listening to this pod, this It'll game be, will probably be going on or yeah. the game had finished. Either well, you, the, you the listen game to it in the morning, but. Who is it, though? But he might be here for Fulham, it. Bro, Tottenham, bro. Tottenham, Fulham. That's a good game. Bro, Tottenham beat Fulham, bro? I think they Tottenham. Go, what happens? They, go, they go top of the league, mate. By two points, right? So Tottenham find themselves with 20 points. They'll jump. City and Arsenal are tied for first. With 21. You're right. They would go yeah, up. They would go up. Two points, top of the league. Damn. Look, I mean, I'm the, not. The year that Kane left to win yeah. silverware, I mean, obviously, I don't think they're going to sustain. I'm not, but I'm not a fan, but, but they're, they're playing good. They're top playing top good. Anyway. I would love to see a Bayern Munich Tottenham cha- uh, Champions League match with Harry Kane on one side and Son on the other side. I'd love to see that matchup. It'd Robert, be sick. Shout out to the coach, bro. Yeah. Um, Ange? Just oh, Elanche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ange, shout out. I wish Primo was here so he can, you know, kind of like yeah, praise him. Yeah, but it's going to be crazy to see them, bro. I think that the social media is going to be popping because it already is going to be the talk of the week. Get the talk, graphics ready. Get the graphics ready. So, uh, yeah. Man United. See, this is what I mean, bro. Eric is hurting, bro. Uh, 15 points United. I mean, they're kind of hanging Look in there. Look where we're at, bro. <laughs> we're sitting on Chelsea. fucking 10th, mate. But, but the, the thing about it between United and Chelsea real quick is I trust in Chelsea to get out of this yeah, situation. Yeah. I don't trust United yeah, at all. No, bro. It's I just know. been it's just <laughs> been disappointment year after year yeah. for them. Since, I, I honestly, since Fergie left. It's toxic in I there, bro. Right it's to- honestly, no, like Sancho, bro. Like honestly, like you know, I feel for 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 Eric Eric 
I feel for him, bro, because that's a tough job, man. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he, I mean it's not job. for everybody. That's it's not for everybody. I mean, he, he's lucky that he went in the job with no hair because that guy would have been gone. <laughs> that guy would have been gone regardless. Yeah, you know? To your point. Yeah. You know? uh, relegation zone, Burnley, Bournemouth, Sheffield United. I think all three of them going down. How Shout is, out Luton. Luton. Hopefully Luton, Luton stays. I Luton. hope Luton stays. Luton. Luton is escaping. Bro, yeah. I would love to keep Luton in the league, bro. <sighs> get him out. I would love to get, <laughs> get him out, bro. Come on. Let's, let's, let's be real. Come on, y'all. They deserve to stay up. Let's be real. Nah, yeah, they've been struggling. All right, now I want to shift gears into La Liga. Got, up there. Got it up there already. Now Madrid finds them, of course. So, oh, game of, of the course. game of the weekend for La Liga. Game of the weekend for Sevilla, La Liga. Madrid. Emotional game Sevilla. for me. Return Emotional. of Ramos. Em- return. It was at Sevilla's house. Yeah, it and, was. And el, oh, and, el, and el Sanchez Piz Juan okay. is what it's called. Madrid visited Sevilla. It was a one-one draw. Real Madrid had a goal disallowed. Bellingham's goal. That referee was the one that suspended Ronaldo very famously after that little mm, yeah. slightly nudge. Um, very infamous suspension. This referee is still continuing to hurt us in the football <laughs> aspect, disallowing goals that should have stood. We tie against Sevilla. I think that the, that the league, there's a conspiracy with Real Madrid to try to set us up when it comes to Clásicos. Well, isn't Barcelona bribing officials, bro? Yeah. Barcelona's yes. literally facing bribing allegations. Yes. And, and Real Madrid are on the same. On that no, same. We're it's the league. It's no, the league. No, we're not. They're Do not put same. us in that they're same category. Real Madrid and we don't, bro, the same. Right now, the, the talk same. is Barca, bro. Nef, it's Nef, good. Nef's, blood is, Nef's blood is boiling it's right good. now it's listening to this. No, but the talk it's is Barca. I'm, I'm not saying my league. No, yeah, like, they can investigate Barcelona, investigate them, you know, and let them investigate everybody else. And Real Madrid's going to be right right there, right behind them. I'm telling you right now. The thing is, though, Barca is paying refs to do X thing, right? Madrid is just getting this hate this this refereeing bias against us and for what reason is it because we're the most successful is it because we have the most trophies of all time i don't know what it is are they jealous that we have all white uniforms i don't know anymore i don't know anymore y'all do have the go uniform I actually li- i actually like your uniform it's not bad thank you all i appreciate white. it yeah, i yeah, appreciate yeah, it yeah. It's not bad. Uh, like but it. madrid find themselves top of the league with 25 points girona Maybe one of the Girona. Girona. Vamos Girona, Girona. bro. Vamos Girona this year, bro. Vamos Girona. Vamos Girona. One of the a city group. A city yeah. group. City, city group. group. One of the highlights this season. Girona. City group. City group. City group. City, city, group. Baby. city group. City group. Oh, okay, I was about to say. Nah, nah. A- NY- <laughs> a- NYFC. NYFC. Check yeah. this out. Austin FC fans. City group. Rodo Borrell. Girona, Girona players. Girona players. Girona players. Girona players. Maybe. Maybe. Nah. Maybe. 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 You got it wrong. Uh, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Girona in twenty five and with second place with twenty five points, Barca in twenty four with twenty four points. Culeres, 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 ahí estamos, culeres. Atleti with twenty two. What a comeback for them, Atleti, bro! Atleti were sitting nine tenth, yeah. and they came across the Madrid derby. Where if they would have lost that game, bro, I don't think they would have been in fourth right now. But they managed to beat Madrid. They and beat the look, crap out of us. Look what they're at now, too. They're back they, up there. They made us look so yeah. silly with headers, bro. Yeah. Headers. Morata. Morata. Rat. Morata. 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 You know that Morata. 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 Yeah. Morata. There's a conspiracy out there that says that Morata is in cahoots with a lot of clubs, and he he is a tool to launder money. What? what? There's a conspiracy. Bro, yo, yo, yo. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. That is that is some serious stuff, right? Because there, he because he's moved from club to club yeah, he's for at high number. Figures. We got him for yeah. 90. Bro. 70, 80, 90. Morata is not that player. Yeah. Why is he continually being sold for a high number? Only God knows. <laughs> Only God knows, bro. <laughs> uh, but the game, yes, this week, uh, the game of La Liga kind of went off a little bit on a tangent. Sevilla, Real Madrid. I saw uh, Ramos Cuffo with Rudiger. Ramos so Cuffo with, with, with so Rudiger. I think Ramos just wants to highlight on him. He knows, he knows that if he creates some kind of chaos, we're going to be talking about him leading up to the classic. You know what, what cracked me up on online is all the tweets are like, damn, like they're all criticizing Ramos for what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, I seen that. Bro, he's been doing that for Madrid this whole career. I've seen that. I and seen now that. he does it to you. Now you get it. Now that. you now y'all get what we're talking about. You that. know what I mean? Now I you see that. what we're talking about. Somebody said, um, I can't believe Ramos did that to me oh, or something know. like that. Bro, oh Ramos God. has done worse to bro. Messi that you could ever bro, he imagine. He broke Salah's shoulder, bro. I'm that is, that is still see. debatable. Yeah, That's he, still debatable. He, he really kicked did. Messi point blank he really maliciously, bro. He, he, he was trying to go for the ball. He was trying to break his ACL. He was, he, he was trying he was to break his leg. Trying to go for the ball. Um, other results in the league. Girona 5-2 against Almeria. They're, I'm Girona. they're I'm poor. Girona. Atletico, Atletico beat Celta de Vigo. Patrick Griezmann, I uh, believe. Sevilla Madrid 1-1. Rayo Vallecano beat Las Palmas. Villarreal and Alaves, they tied. 
Barca beat Athletic Club. That's a that's a tough game. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, a 17 year old making his debut scored that the winning goal. If I'm not mistaken, uh, but yeah, that's La Liga right now. Madrid is in first place, and that's that's where we're at. That's yeah. where we're at right now, gentlemen. Anything you want to add on to La Liga? Vamos Girona, bro. I would love to see Girona stick around for this race. That would be bro. nice. That would be nice. That would be nice. To give me some something to look into La Liga. Give I mean, them Champions League. Girona. Yeah, hell yeah. That Why would be not? Great Why not? I just love a, f- a fair little story like yeah. that. Like a club that's like Girona. What? You know yeah, what I mean? I'd like to see that. Now, up next for Madrid, of El course, Clasico. El Clasico. Ooh. Saturday, October 28th. We don't have any MLS duties anymore, so we're going to be full focusing yeah. on b- on the that's Clasico. That's going to be a great game. And, and great if game. I may say, if you're listening to us that you just kind of follow Austin and you're not really familiar with La Liga, it, stick with us. Let's l- yes. let's watch La Liga games. That's what the Discord is there. We have yep. La Liga channel. Yep. We have a Premier League channel. If you don't have, if you don't have a team or you're not a fan or nothing, jump in there and we'll, yep. we'll tell you which clubs we can support in that. Yep. You know? So follow along. Before the Clasico, though, Midweek Champions League oh, yeah, action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real Madrid yeah. against Braga. It's going to be very, very interesting. Just real quick, let's see if there's any any, any games to, to, to look uh, out for. The group of death. They got AC Milan and Dortmund. All right, so and we got, okay, uh, Galatasaray, Bayern. Do you good. fancy oh, it? Bayern's. I think Bayern got Even it. Even though Galatasaray, Galatasaray is Galatasaray going off. Hey. Zayic, your boy? Yeah. 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 Your boy, Zayic. Inter, Inter, RB Salzburg. I think Inter got it. Un- Union Berlin, Napoli. 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 Sevilla Arsenal. Come on, don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Ramos, hey, Ramos, Ramos. All they got? Y'all what? Lost. Let's go. What? Y'all, y'all lost to Lens, so what? don't think Sev- losing Sevilla is crazy. Nah, it's cool. We're going to fight back. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Braga, Real Madrid. Braga. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Braga, bro. Get out of here. Uh, Lens, PSV. Lens. PSV. Uh, Chucky and Pepe are there. Anyway. Man United, Copenhagen. Copenhagen. B? I got, oh, Copenhagen. Man United, I, come on. Come Benfica Sociedad. That's down. a good game. Benfica. Benfica Sociedad. Benfica. That's, Benfica. that's a good game. Benfica. Sociedad. Sociedad. Uh, Barcelona, Shakhtar, Donetsk. Barca, not even a question. Shakhtar. They got a good team. Do not sleep Barcelona. on Shakhtar. They, they, they've been making a sweat Barcelona. the last couple of seasons. Uh, Feyenoord, Lazio. Feyenoord, Jimenez. Feyenoord's going off. I got Lazio. Oh, no, you're right. Santa yeah. Jimenez. Don't sleep on him. You sleep on him. You got Lazio? Their history, mate? No, you're right. No, Lazio. I do not accept that. RB Leipzig, uh, Scrivenza Zaveda. RB. RB. RB22? RB22. <laughs> Newcastle Dortmund. Damn. That's a good game. That's Newcastle. a great game. That's a good game. game. In, in Newcastle, I believe, right? Yep. St. Yeah, James yeah, Park. Yep. Yeah. St. James Park, mate. Newcastle for sure. Yeah. Young Boy City. 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 Young Boys. City. 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 This, is, this is a good one. Yeah, PSG yeah, Milan. Bro, group Ooh. of death, bro. This I is, think PSG got it. This is oh, the Milan. reject classical. Maybe Milan. The, re- yeah. the, the, the reject classical right here. Hey, that's AC, a tough yeah. one right there. Why do I say that? AC. Zlatan, Pato, Brahim Diaz, David Beckham, Ronaldinho, Pirlo. Everybody goes to retire to PSG or to Milan. It is what it is. <laughs> bro, those are great clubs. Who do you got, though? Who do you got? I, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to go with PSG, bro. I, I mean, Milan. I know I know Milan got uh, it. The, I the, think the, Milan got it. Uh, Pulisic. I think Milan. I think Milan. I you think know what? Pulis. I'm gonna go for Milan because Pulis is in Captain it, America, bro. What yeah, do they Captain say America, uh, for Pulis? They say Pulli, Pulli, six, six, six. Pulli, Pulli, Pulli. They say six, USA, six. USA, USA. They always chat that, bro. bro they That's love sick. him over there. Bro. Finally, he gets they love, him, bro. He's love. Yeah. Uh, he, he, bro, Chelsea hated him. He did have to come <laughs> off. Hey. He did. He did have to come off in the recent game for Milan early because somebody else got a red card and they sacrificed him. But he looked like he got it. He like he wasn't mad. Mm-hmm. Uh, Celtic Atletico. Atleti. Atleti. Celtic are, are tr- the Atleti. history in the Champions League is bad. They have a beautiful atmosphere, though. They do. Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, Antwerp or Porto? Porto. Porto. Easy. Porto. Uh, <laughs> so that's this is match day three, what we just read off of six of the Champions yeah. League group stages. Yeah, Standings? And, and also for our Patreon listeners, we will talk. We'll, we'll put out a video talking about the – was it week – this is week three, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Week three, so I'm excited for that as well. Uh, l- just group leaders real quick. Bayern, Galatasaray, Group A. Lens, Arsenal, Group B. Group C has Madrid and Napoli. Uh, group D, Sociedad Inter. Group E, Atleti, Lazio. Group F, Newcastle, PSG. That's the group right there to watch. Yeah, that is Group F, Look right? Look at that, bro. Look at that. Newcastle, PSG, Milan, Dortmund. Yeah, that's the... that's that's. Yeah, that's group G, City, Leipzig, Young Boys, Crevenza, Zveda. Group H, Barca, <laughs> Porto, Shakhtar, and Antwerp. Gentlemen, Antwerp. real quick, before we end the podcast, we have a couple more minutes. Yeah. International break. What a show. I want to highlight Venezuela. Shout out to my oh, G Football Critic. Yeah, yeah. They, good, they right? are shocking the world. Yeah. I think they're the biggest talking point because they're the only South American team to have never been to a World yeah, Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and they're in fourth place right now. They would have been in third if Uruguay hadn't shown out. Yeah. But they shocked. The standings? Yeah, I got you. They shocked Chile. They yeah. shocked Brazil. I mean, is this the year that Dani Pereira leads Venezuela to the <laughs> World Cup? <laughs> Dude, this I, I I want Venezuela to to make the, the World Cup. The only one in South America not to do it. We we gotta fix that. I mean, that's gotta. Yeah, with, nice with, it's not on us. Nice. With everything that's going on in their, yeah, country, their country with the, yeah, with, with the stability of it, you know, all the the stuff, the bad, the negative things around the country itself. To lean on the the soccer team is is great. I mean, look at that. So we yeah. got Argentina, of course. And Messi compared this Argentina side to Pep's Barca. That's how crazy this Argentina side is getting. They're so good? They're so good, apparently, according to Messi. Uh, which well, I, I like take it. They're four doves on the trout, brother. They're clear, perfect bro. right now. Uruguay, second place with seven points. Damn, five behind Argentina in first. That's pretty Brazil, big chunk. Brazil, third. Brazil, third. Venezuela, little tiny, mighty Venezuela, fourth place with seven points. They jumped Colombia. They're over Ecuador, over Paraguay, over Chile, over Peru, and over Bolivia. Wow, Their insane. recent matches, though, Brazil, 1-1. One, one. They scored a banger goal also. The player from Mazatlán scored a Chilena. They beat Paraguay September 12th, 1-0, and they absolutely massacred Chile 3-0. Bro, I say this. I say this. Look, their next game is Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia. They bro, can win those. If, those if are wins. Those, those are bro, wins that's, right there. That's where, that's where you put yourself in the World Cup, yeah, that's bro. That's such a good point. That is where you put yourself in the World Cup. You beat Ecuador. You <sighs> get results, Peru and Bolivia. Those are the teams that are going to give you the points, and then... Look you at the next two. Face, you all face the Hawaii and Argentina, but you got to build yourself that cushion. That's such a good point, B. Such those point. are the games. If you want to make World Cups, those are the games right there. Let's say you pick up nine points. Ah, oh, Venezuela. I mean, you can do whatever you. You can go for a draw against Uruguay. It's yeah. possible. And versus Argentina, it's house money. Yeah. It's house money. Yeah. You're going to close out, well, continuing on, still a lot more There's to go. It's 2024. Yeah, still a lot of games. But just the next five for Venezuela are going to be crucial. But that, if there's a little bit of momentum going right now, they're in fourth, right? You want to really get the momentum going as you win these next three games. Yeah. Right? For sure. Yep. Yeah. Venezuela, I think one of the biggest talking points, I had to make sure to put them into the podcast tonight. So, gentlemen, we're at the end of the show. Anything you want to add? Oh, uh, man. I'm actually happy I'm taking a break now, man, because I don't think I could go through this From anymore. Austin? From Austin. Yeah. Honestly, I think I think this break was, was at the right time. This yeah. season sucked, Because this, this it was just bad, This season man. sucked. You know, yeah. we, we need to regroup. And we'll see this offseason, bro. It's going to be yeah. a huge offseason, bro. And yeah. I know I know rumors are going to start coming up, and whoever wants to leave can leave. Uh, if you made it this far into the podcast, I'll give you a little bit of a Discord hint. This morning on Discord, we were talking about Diego Rubio. He's the player that was in talks with Austin FC or he was in contact or whatever, but his name was on a list for possible guys that we could be looking into. He said his, he said his, goodbye, his goodbyes to Colorado Rapids last night. So, like Bali said, the rumors are about to start flying. The yeah. Discord is going to be popping. Another Asian striker. <laughs> <laughs> Another Asian striker. But, yeah, uh, if you want to support us on Patreon – the 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 discord is really just something extra you know yeah. just by signing up to the to, to the patreon by pledging five dollars you're helping us support a cup of coffee a cup of coffee from starbucks you're helping us support the podcast which you're listening to right now you're helping us support the fan reactions which you've enjoyed for three years you're help you're helping us um continue the twitter spaces which have been instrumental and crucial for a lot of the fans this season so uh, don't think that it's just oh five dollars to join this Discord. No, no, no. Pledge five dollars to the Western TV Patreon, and you're gonna get a bunch of stuff. I mean, we're gonna send care packages out with some little goodies. You get access to that Discord. We're gonna have a hotline coming up soon. A lot of stuff coming for the Western TV Patreon and Discord. So yeah, and also I don't miss out. Yeah, I wanted to send a shout out to Austin Printco. Yes, they got us this engraved Yeti. So shout out to them if you're looking to get something like this for your brand, for your company, or something, some shirts or something. Hit them up, and we'll put info in the description below. So. Yeah, we're going to get some, some work coming out with them, cool. too. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Very fresh. Shout out to, shout out to Austin. Oh, we got a lot of people asking us, where can they buy those? How can they get them? We're going to have a collab coming with them, soon, yeah. so we can get you some Hopefully, Austin yeah. TV merch. But thank you, everybody, for uh, hanging on and hanging out with us here. Great episode. I had a lot of fun. My pen just fell. <laughs> Great. We'll see you soon. 2023 season comes to an end, but Fcito got a chip. Have a good night, everybody. Be safe.